Oh, it looks like we're going to have a part four. This is going to be the end. I got an organizer that's just loaded with my extensions. Again, I've either got, you know, their name brand extensions. So uh, I've got Cobol, uh, Icon. I got them in half inch. I got them in the impact rated. And here's my three eighths and quarters. I got a couple door last. They're flex ones extensions they're pretty good but i got all my extensions in this thing now because i've got such an overflow of crap that i still need room to organize and i've got the same thing down here in standard as i do pretty much as of the metrics you know in the ball head hex and the big hex sets icon i got some cobalt hex sets one's an extractor kind of headset i got some icon uh flathead phillips heads got that set and Again, I've got 12 point and my half inch, 12 point and my three eighths, and then I've got six point and my three eighths and quarter. I'm going to get a six point half inch for my standard two. Uh, that's all I've got left. I got to get a set of those from Tech. And I also got the splines uh, in standard from Cobalt. And I've got, again, the first few are uh, <laughs> deep, and then they kind of cut it off there. And the rest of those are my three eighths impacts, Cobalt. And then finally getting to the last door. Sorry, this tour went so long. This is going to be kind of like my cat's all drawer and other stuff. So I got some impact. Uh, well, you could put them in impact because they're the quarter inch hex, but they're grinding wheels. They're great. I use them for cleaning up my tools and stuff like that if I see any rust. I got a cobalt hex key set. I got it in standard and metric. They're back to back. So I got a set up top there and a set below that you can't see. It's right underneath. I got some Hillmore cabinet link screwdrivers. I keep them down here. Nut drivers. They're, they really should be with me. But I, I got them in case I needed them. But I very haven't had a situation. So I stopped carrying them in the truck and I brought them in. But they're really long. They're nut drivers. Quarter and five sixteenths. So I think these are some kind of... Looks like some kind of... They might be a, a, a stud extractor. Got two of them. Got a small one and a big one. Hammers. I got like a, a dual kind of mallet easy. And then I've got a cobalt. I guess you can call that a frame. Again, I like all my hammers to be all metal. I don't like where it sticks into the... A wood shaft sticks through the metal head because I've had too many instances where I've seen them fly off. Got a hatchet there. This right here is my chisels. I got a bag of chisels. Uh, from Harbor Freight, so I think if people have seen those on the wrap on the internet, if not, look up the Harbor Freight chisel set. That's pretty much what that is. Uh, I've got some kind of pin here. Who knows? I found it one day or something and, and some tools, and I think it might be used to align something. It's like a pin, so I'm going to save it in case I need it. It be used for other things. Um, oh, I had a hacksaw below this thing. I had a hacksaw. Uh, I got some files in this thing. Again, I got a sledge down there. I got a pry bar. Um, I got some uh, lock cutters, a rivet gun. And in this box here, I got some air tools. I got the die grinder and the, I think it's a right angle. It looks like a right angle drill. Yeah, it's a right angle drill. And uh, in here, I got a set of four gear pullers set of four of them so that's it that will conclude the tour throw that back in thank you for tagging along it's been an experience um let's see if i can get another shot of everything again again i'm a cobalt power tool and Decent amount of cobalt tools kind of guy. I do like snap on it. I, essentially, I like anything that's quality. It'll do the job. You know what I mean? So until something breaks on me, you know, I don't go by what many people say unless, you know, I really respect that person's reputation. Like, for example, Caddis Maximus. He uses so many tools. He reviews them for so long. I respect his opinion. And uh, if he says something about a tool that I'm interested in, I'd probably go buy it because, you know, He's got some really good, you know, in-depth um, ideas and thoughts on tools. So, and there's a lot of other tool review guys out there. And I wanted to make mention of a few of them, a few channels that I've watched over the course of years. And those guys are uh, Justin Dow, 
um, or let me let me do in sets here. So any of my automotive or stuff like that or tool related guys would be uh, Justin Dow, uh, Client Graphics. Appreciate him doing the tests on the ratchets because uh, he showed me that my Cobalt ratchets are stronger than what people think, um, and I've always liked them. So and I like the tests that he does on tools and stuff. So props to him, Client Graphics. Um, what other channels do I also watch? Uh, Scotty Kilmer out of Texas. Um, he's a 50-year a mechanic. He's got a great channel. Uh, I suggest you watch his channel. He gives great tips to people like me who just want to fix their car or be aware so that we don't get ripped off or robbed or get our car screwed up. Uh, he's got a great channel. Um, let me see. Who of his channels do I watch? Um, the, you know, for automotive and stuff related there. Um, uh, South Main Auto, I think he's up in New York. Uh, I watch a lot of his auto repairs. Uh, he posts a lot of his stuff up on the internet. I want to thank him. Uh, he seems like he's a great guy, has a great channel. So uh, check his channel out, South Main Auto. Um, again, he's uh, out of New York. Um, also want to thank, I uh, watch Coon Trucking. Uh, I watch uh, uh, CP, the tool addict. He's cool. Um, he's, he's really excited guy. He likes Mac tools. Got a lot of Mac stuff, but he got a lot of everything. He's a quality tool guy, but he's exciting to watch. He's got a lot of energy. CP the tool act is a good channel. Um, Rust Belt Mechanic is another one. Um, JRC 54. These guys are expert mechanics. Um, they really know their stuff. They get, they know their stuff on tools too. They got great tool channels. Check them out. Um, Tony, the technician is another one. He's a humble guy. He's got a good channel. Uh, check him out. Subscribe to him. Um, I'm trying to think of who else I watch. Um, if I miss any, I apologize. I'm going to catch you at another time. And as far as my heating and air guys, um, I definitely want to thank uh, Ralph uh, out of Georgia. Uh, Ralph Wolf. He's TNN Services. Awesome channel. If you want to, if you want to get to know a guy who's honest, who doesn't you know rip his customers off or take advantage or you know, just a good all-around great guy uh, in life and at work. Ralph Wolf, TNN, uh, for Heating and Air out of Georgia. He's awesome. you got to check his channel out. Um, uh, AC, uh, yeah, I think it's AC Services. Um, he's got an awesome channel. Um, yeah, a, or what is it? Uh, I think it's AC Service channel. He's awesome. Uh, I think he's out of Florida. Uh, AC Service Tech. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's AC Service Tech. Yeah, AC Service Tech on YouTube. He's got a very awesome channel. He's a very awesome educator in heat and air. Um, so AC Service Tech, uh, Ralph Wolf, uh, Stephen Lavamir. He's up in, uh, I think he's in Massachusetts. Uh, he does all service. But again, he's an older guy. He's been doing it for years. He puts a lot of his life experience on his service calls up there. So really helps the younger generation uh, learn some of the techniques of the old school guys because they have a wealth of knowledge to share. Uh, they've got a lifetime of experience out in the field. So um, my hat's off to him. He's done a lot for people and I want to take my hat off to him. I've watched a lot of his videos. Granted, I'm not a plumber. He does plumbing and heating and air. Um, and he's primarily a service guy, but he's an honest guy. He's a good guy. He's a funny guy. He'll keep you laughing. Uh, he's got a great channel um, for heat and air. And um, that, there's more of them out there, but that's primarily the guys who I keep my eyes on for a while for heat and air. So between all of you guys, uh, you know, the channels I watch, I want to say thanks a lot. Um, you know, you inspired me to start my own channel, and uh, you guys do good stuff. Oh, also, I forgot... Uh, Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Uh, I've watched his channel a lot. Um, I think he's up in Minnesota um, with the Tool Bear. He's an awesome, another great channel to check out. Uh, he does tool stuff, uh, tool reviews, tool sales. He does stuff uh, all the time. So he's got an excellent channel. Check him out. But anyway, props. And I appreciate all you guys uh, who've inspired me to do my tools. And I appreciate it. And uh, I just want to give you guys a shout out. I appreciate it. And I hope you all are doing well. And for any of the newcomers who are coming to watch, I uh, appreciate you taking the time to do a tour of my tools. And uh, I try to stay humble. I'm a humble guy. So uh, I'm really grateful if anybody stayed and watched 
all four parts of my tool series. So, but uh, if I get any updates or make any major changes, I'll post up another one. I might start posting up service calls for heat and air. Um, I might take a page out of Stephen Lavamere's book and start posting my service calls and see what, uh, so I could show you guys what I go through as a daily part of my life. Or I might do the auto stuff on the weekends and might post some videos uh, of me trying to just fix my car. Maybe reach out to some of you professional mechanics. Maybe if I need some help or something on my Explorer, I got to keep her running so I can keep working. But, uh, but anyway, that's it. Gwenster out here. Again, thank you for watching my tool tour. We're out of here. Have a good evening. Peace.